Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today I am sharing with you my Costco monthly stock up haul. I do have a few things in this haul from Kroger, a few deals I want to go and pick up, as well as a few items from Sprouts. But the majority of everything that I did get is from Costco. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got so that this video is not super long. All right, I got two three packs of this organic ground beef. I tried to order some more from Sprouts. I'm sorry, I tried to order some more from Aldi because I do like that theirs is organic and 100% grass fed, but they were out. So Costco to the rescue. I got um, two three packs of that. I may have to go back and get more, but I'm just gonna gauge and see how much we use um, before I just go and buy a ton of packs of this ground beef since I do have some in the freezer. I did pick up some organic chicken breasts. I honestly meant to get the um, the chicken breast tenderloins because I do prefer those, but these work just fine because I'm probably gonna be using them in the same ways. The meat is gonna be um, pretty tender the way that I'm going to cook it, so it doesn't really matter. But I did get a three pack of these. These are gonna mostly be used for soups. We may use a pack possibly whenever I make some um, chicken legs for my husband the kids and I like to actually have the breast meat instead of the chicken legs so we might do that but for the most part this will be used for soup all right back here I did pick up some um, chicken party wings you guys have seen these in my hauls before I like to get these at Costco I picked up a I think this is a five pound bag of organic broccoli florets I picked up this is my favorite rice, guys. This rice is so delicious. It's the Sona Masori rice, and it just cooks up absolutely just fluffy, and the texture is amazing. So anyway, this is the medium grain organic white rice. I get this from Costco. Just to put in our pantry, I like to have two of these on hand at all times, and I do actually have about a less than a half a bag in my freezer, and then I have another whole bag. So I just got this to add to my pantry. All right, back here, I picked up two more bags of our favorite coffee. We actually just ran out this morning, so I did get two bags of this. Um, this is the Don Pablo Signature Blend. I picked up, I'm gonna try not to rustle this bag too much, but I did pick up a bag of these organic sun-dried dates. We love these. I picked up some of these organic figs for my husband. He requested those. I picked up my favorite, this is my favorite pasta sauce, I think other than the, um, what is it called? Oh my goodness. Other than the Rayos. But I get this at Costco, not all the time, but we have been making some pasta lately and I just kind of want to build my pasta sauce stock back up. So I just got a two pack of this Paisano tomato basil pasta sauce. I picked up some maple syrup because we are out of that. We have not had raisins in the house in forever. So I decided to go ahead and pick up a box of those. They were a pretty decent price. I got some of our favorite Lindsay's olives. These are delicious. And I do have some of these in the pantry, but um, we not very many. So I don't wanna run out of these. This is a really good low carb snack. I picked up some more of our favorite organic tortillas. These are not by any means perfect, guys, but these are just the best ones that I found in the grocery store. One of my goals this year is to perfect <laughs> my um, flour tortilla making in the kitchen, and I have been practicing that. So maybe I will do a video and show you guys um, a meal where I'm making some tortillas to go with it, some homemade ones. But I did get these in the meantime just so we would not be out of tortillas. I picked up... Some of my favorite salsa. This is the Jack's Cantina salsa. I got some of this wild brine probiotic um, sauerkraut for my husband. Um, he had requested this. I got some of these Teton Polish sausages. I actually had this on my list to go and get um, because I like to start stocking my freezer with these when we get when we start inching toward the spring because I like to um, have stuff like this. So that when we're, whenever we want to put something on the grill, we have sausages and like um, meat for burgers and things like that. So I did go ahead and grab one of those. I picked up a six pound bag of these organic carrots. Need these for soups. We'll probably eat some of these raw as well. 
I got some of these organic Granny Smith apples. This is actually my daughter's favorite apple. And so I picked up a bag of those, not necessarily just for her, um, but we have so many red apples in the fridge. I figured we would go ahead and get a bag of these green ones because they were a really good price at Costco. I got some um, organic oregano. This is something I use pretty much every day and I don't want to run out. I picked up some organic celery. Now guys, I don't know if this is the best price on celery. I know I could buy the whole stock myself, rinse it, clean it, cut it off. Probably could get it a little bit cheaper. Um, I don't know as far as organic though because um, I have been buying it at Walmart and I've been buying it at Aldi, but it has not looked this good in a while. I've even ordered some through Instacart from Sprouts and it just has not looked this good and fresh. And so when I saw this in Costco, I just decided I was gonna go ahead and grab this because we do actually like to eat celery fresh and not just cooked in soups and dishes and things. And so I wanted some crispy, um, just nice looking lettuce to have so that we can eat them raw. All right, I picked up another three pound bag of these organic blueberries. I do still have some in the freezer, but I just wanna keep a good stock of them because we use these in everything. I picked up some of these organic dark sweet cherries. They were actually $2 cheaper than they usually are. So I went ahead and got two bags of these because we use these a lot. I use these in smoothies and sometimes we like to just eat them, just thaw them and just eat them, you know, by themselves. I picked up some of these chomps meat sticks. You guys have seen me purchase these. I think I bought two of these last month. I bought these and the jalapeno ones, but I only just got these this month because I think everybody really, really likes the original ones. So I'll just put those in a little snack bin and we'll see how far those get us. I picked up some of these made good granola minis. As you can see, my daughter was with me and she has already opened them. She ate some on the way home. I picked up some of these organic coconut rolls. These are one of my favorite um, snacks to buy at Costco. Um, they weren't necessarily on sale, but they were actually a pretty decent price. So I decided to go ahead and grab one of those for our mine and hubby's uh, movie nights we've been having. I did pick up a pack of coconut water. This is gonna be mainly for my husband and I to drink as a recovery drink after we work out, but also to put it in our smoothies. These are nine one liter bottles of coconut water and I really like that the only ingredient in this is organic coconut water there's no added sugar or anything like that all right I think that's everything that I got at Costco guys except for I did get a 40 pack of this Kirkland brand water um, that was the very last thing that I did pick up at Costco what I picked up at Kroger I just got a few items I picked up some of these dryer sheets. These were actually, they were ringing up in the app for 62 cents. I'll have to go back on my receipt and let you know what the final price ended up being. All right, I did pick up 10 bottles of this Bolt House Farms, these uh, protein shakes. I got five of these, and this is my absolute favorite flavor, this chocolate peanut butter, which I was trying to get these at Kroger the other day um, when I went but they were all sold out of that flavor. I did go to a different Kroger today and I found them and it was literally only five left on the shelf. You don't see 10 here because my daughter and I actually drank one of these on the way home, but these were buy one, get one free. So I only paid for five of these. Um, these were 379, so I paid 379 because these were the more expensive ones. So I paid 379 times five, but then guys, I got back 50 cents for buying each one of these through Ibotta. I got back a total of $5 from Ibotta, making these a total of $13 and some change or a dollar and 30 something cents each. I picked up some of this Rayo's homemade uh, roasted garlic pasta sauce. This was actually on sale for $4.99 at Kroger with a digital coupon. Now I would have gotten more because the limit was five. However, I was doing this along with a deal through Maryfield, and the limit was just one. So I did get one of these, but then I did get back a dollar and, I wanna say a dollar and 50 cents um, through Maryfield, because I got back some everyday points just for buying this particular brand. I got back 25 points just for scanning my receipt, and then I got back a dollar and 25 uh, cents in points for buying this particular product. So I will put the final price on the screen for you, but I did go, um, specifically looking for this deal at Kroger. 
All right, I think that might be, oh, the very last thing that I did get at Kroger um, are five bottles of this uh, Free and Clear Arm and Hammer laundry detergent. The reason I got this is because I am running rather low on laundry detergent. And I am trying to do, trying to be a little bit healthier with the products that we are using on our skin um, and in our household, but also I'm trying to be cost effective. So this was, they did have this free and clear option and I'll probably use some of the um, lightly scented hyperallergenic scent beads that I got through couponing this summer if we want a little bit of scent on our clothing. But these were actually $2.49 each um, after you clipped a coupon, a digital coupon through the Kroger app and the limit was five. And so I went ahead and got five because we really, a we actually need laundry detergent right now. All right, I did pick up two more of these Dole Tropical Gold Pineapples. Guys, these are so, so good. Um, I've just recently gotten over being super sick and these really helped me with my congestion um, when I was really, really sick. You can probably kind of hear in my voice, I'm still a little bit congested, but uh, these really helped me when I was sick and they're absolutely delicious. So every time this deal kind of popped back up in my account through Ibotta, I would try to pick up two more whenever I was at the grocery store. And so these were actually $1.97 at Walmart. So I did go to Walmart today as well, but then I got a dollar off for buying um, two of these, making them $1.47 each. I really went into Walmart because I needed to pick up some sweet potatoes. I wanted to get multiple bags, but this particular Walmart only had one bag, so I did just grab that. I also, at Walmart, picked up some of these Dave Killer Bread Bars. Um, I let my daughter pick out the kinds that she wanted. We, we're not super crazy about the chocolate ones, so we got the Oat Rages and we got like the and we got the trail mix flavor. So these were $1.88 at Walmart, and then I got back 75 cents for buying um, each one of them, making them just a dollar and 13 cents, something like that. I'll put the price on the screen for you, but not too bad because I'll also scan this receipt um, on the Merrifield app, and I will get back some everyday points for buying this particular brand. All right, very last store. This was a pickup through Instacart. I did have a $9 and some change credit for buying these items. So I will actually put the final price that I paid for these items on the screen for you. Um, they were on sale already, but because I did have that credit, I didn't even pay the sale price. But I did pick up three packs of these 100% grass-fed Teton sausages. I should have gotten four because I actually, I had originally ordered five of the hot dogs, but they were out of stock. Um, um, and so the uh, person that was shopping for my order sent me a text and asked if I wanted these instead. The price was a little bit more, but I think I would have been able to get away with um, having four of these instead of just three. And I would have come really, really close to the original cost of the order. Anywho, I got three, um, Three more packs of these sausages to kind of add to the ones that I did get at Costco. So those will go in the freezer for um, some future meals. We really like these sausages. I picked up one of these little Lara bars um, because I was trying to get my order to a specific total. Um, and so I threw that in my cart. And then I picked up another one of these Khalifa Farms Organic Almond Milk. I've really been enjoying this almond milk in my coffee and with some granola that I had in the pantry. All right, guys, that is everything that I picked up on this shopping trip. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the box below. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.